All right, gardeners, so this is a fun video for me because I get to share all the expansion plans. There's been a lot going on in the background in terms of what's been happening behind the scenes for homegrown gardens. The plants right now are kicking, they are thriving. And you can see I hired help this year. For the first time for homegrown, we now have people that are taking care of these plant babies like I do. So why don't we go talk with them, see what's up, and then I'll show you the rest of the game plan for what's happening in my backyard coming up soon. Hi girls. Hey Karen. <laughs> so these are my first two amazing women that are working for Homegrown Gardens. We all know Cassie from a previous video. Cassie, we did a garden space in her backyard. What was that, two years ago? Yeah. yeah two years ago, yeah. yeah. And it just became this natural evolution of, you know, you having a little bit more time in your schedule. Mm -hmm. And obviously I knew you loved gardening. Yeah, hi, I was so happy to be here. I was thrilled when Karen asked me to be part of this growing team this year. And it's been my pleasure creating all these beautiful babies that you see today yeah. so yeah we're so excited what's been like the biggest like wow moment for you behind the scenes when you um, you know before yeah. as a client you would right. get the plants and you'd know that part of it right. so now that you see this well like, you've always the produced the most beautiful plants but now I know why <laughs> the love and the care and the time these babies get and just the way you emulate nature and the food they get and the water and just the daily check-ins this is a really great product yeah. we've created so so excited to be part of this thank you yeah. thank you so much. All right, so this is my wild child, Christine. <laughs> when I was thinking through the logistics of hiring last year, you know, naturally I was thinking of gardeners or people like I interface with through yoga. And then the universe sent me this lovely job, <laughs> which I could not be more excited about. So why don't you tell everybody yep. here your little background and how you landed here sure. in my garage? Yeah, <laughs> my, in your garage planting peppers. I have a background in 20 plus years in public relations. I retired two years ago and moved to Chicago. I met Karen through a, another group of friends that we have here in the Chicagoland area. We both grew up in Iowa and she started talking about her gardening business. I told her I would be interested in helping her, but I do not have a green thumb <laughs> of the polar opposite. And she said, it's a teachable skill. Yeah. And you have proven that to be true. So do you mind sharing where you came from? Like what specific company? I retired from Apple two years ago. And you know what they say about Apple? What do they say about Apple? That the best businesses start in garages. <laughs> <laughs> I can attest to that. I can attest to that. I love it. I love it so much. So it really is wonderful to pull people into this operation, um, not just obviously for the labor hours, but their good energy. And you guys really do care about these plants. I can tell. <laughs> yes. Every day, Christine rolls in and what does she do? <laughs> Hi, friends! <laughs> I mean, I mean, they need to know their life. They do, they do. And that's why they're thriving so much. So there actually is one more employee. Her name is Stacy. She's fantastic. Similar to Cassie, we put a garden space in her backyard a couple years back. And now she has some free time in her hands and has helped out with this operation as well. One of the perks of the job for working at Homegrown Gardens is that you get to feed the animals next door. We have a horse, a pony, and a donkey that live right there. Our little animal friends, they need a little treat. So Cassie, Christine, will you help me do the honors? Of course. <laughs> That's my favorite part. I know, I know. Come here, Sandy. <laughs> come on, come get some carrots. If you want to know how to grow 3,000 plants out of your house and not in a greenhouse, let me show you what that operation looks like on the inside. And I also have some really exciting construction plans to share as well. So this plant baby operation is a bit more organized thanks to my amazing sister-in-law Maggie who came in in March and helped me kind of set up shop here. A lot of transitional things happening in the house itself. I'm redecorating, redesigning. So there's some overlap of furniture, but the dining room table is where the incubation room is. So all of the seeds start in pods and they're on heat mats under dome. We're simulating spring conditions here to warm up the soil temperature and to create a little rain. And then once those domes pop, 
the seed has come up. Then we take it out of this dome. We put them under grow lights, just about one to two inches, so they get some pretty hefty heat and they don't have to get leggy stretching for the sun. Basil is hanging out on my floor here. They don't need as much light. They can get a little spindly, so that's the operation here. My cats don't eat basil, so that's important too if you have pets. And then in here, I've converted my entryway, my foyer, into my mini greenhouse. Before they go to the garage, they actually hang out here and I'll use the front door too to acclimate them. That's a process called hardening. So these bigger plants will get put outside on days like today. It's nice and sunny, so I'll probably be doing that in a moment. So if you're crazy like me and you wanna start an operation, um, be careful because before you know it, it's not just one tray of plants, then it's two, then you have a business, then you need to create a house for all of these plants and that's where I'm at in life. When I first came onto this property, I really had the vision of creating a greenhouse, obviously that is the natural next step in homegrown garden. And I've been working for the last two years now to create the designs for it and we're in the permitting process right now. So I'm so excited to actually see this thing manifest in real life to get out of my head and into reality. So let me grab the plans real quickly and I'm so excited to show you. When I had the idea of building a greenhouse, I had no idea what it would entail. And I'm going big because I'm going to do this in my backyard. I will be seeing it every single day. Kona will be seeing it every single day. I just wanted to go a little bigger than normal. So this isn't your average greenhouse. It's a little luxury bougie greenhouse to match the level of boxes that I put in and the garden spaces I create. So I had to work with an architect to get the base wall and chimney plan because not only am I creating a space for the plants to live, but in the off season, I'm creating a space for me to enjoy and other people as well. I really envision hosting events, doing yoga in there, garden to table meals. I mean, we'll see what happens, but I knew in my heart I needed to create a space that wasn't just for the plant season, but for the entire season. So the first step was to get a survey done, got that done about uh, well over a year ago to plot out where exactly this greenhouse is going. And I'm making it a straight shot through my backyard. When you walk out the basement, you're actually going to go through the garden space and then straight into to the greenhouse, creating one straight channel. And then this is the floor plan. It's a 40 by 20 structure with a little vestibule. So it'll have like a little entryway before it opens up and we'll have doors on the front and the back. The best part of this entire greenhouse though is definitely the chimney. I'm doing stone veneer for the base wall. That'll flow up the side of the chimney and wrap around for an indoor and outdoor fireplace. Super excited about that. So follow me, let's go get a feel for where this building, this structure is actually going to be in a few months. So right behind me is where all this magic is gonna happen very soon. One thing that we have done before anything has happened, I haven't touched this land except for behind me, the woods. I had my contractors come in with a skid steer and they started pulling out a ton of dead lumber. I'm gonna have firewood for years, not even days. We had some pretty epic fires last fall, just using up some of the old lumber, the fallen trees. And literally things have been rising up from the ashes. I don't even have a garden, but I do have a garden. Let me show you a couple things that have popped up. This is arugula that magically started to grow earlier this spring. I have no idea how the seed got here. I didn't even have any arugula plants that I threw in the burn pile, but it's actually quite tasty. And then this also is another arugula plant along with a bunch of mustard greens. So believe it or not, I have been eating salad out of my garden <laughs> this season in 2024. This ash pile will not be here much longer. I will be saving it though for sure to put it in my garden boxes. As you can clearly see the, the plants love it. But when you look out the back of my house, the entrance of the greenhouse is in line with the exit behind the chimney there. So basically about right here where I'm standing is the front of the greenhouse. And then this whole area will get cleared, excavated and all the magic happens here. My future plans to fulfill this area is naturally the, the garden space will fill in the gaps between the house and the greenhouse. And then over here, I'm going to be building in a big barn for entertainment, for obviously workspace, so I can get out of my garage and be able to park a car in my garage again. That would be amazing. That'll be the day. So I'll have a, another wave of exciting things to show you down the road in a couple years. Oh, and my chickens as well. Chicken coop is happening 2025. When I start designing my she shed, my new barn, I'm going to be designing the she coop at the same time so I can get my chickens in. Get the ladies here. <laughs> 
So those are the exciting updates to Homegrown Gardens 2.0. 2024 is a very big year of expansion with the girls now working here with the greenhouse going up, all the construction excitement to come. So make sure you subscribe, follow along as I build out my dream space. What you doing? What you doing, buddy? Look at this little tail whip. <laughs> it's good lunch. Ha, 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 ha.